G'day guys, Dale here from Lone Point Marine. Today we're going to do a video on how to fit the Humminbird Helix 9 Gen 3 Mega SI to one of these Hobie Pro Angler 14s. Now today, the tools that you'll need to fit this to this fire will be a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a good set of pliers, some wire strippers, and a shifter or spanner of size to your bolts. So basically today what we're going to do is start from the very start. Uh, so today we'll be fitting the Helix 9 to this pit, uh, Hobie Pro Angle 14. We'll be starting from scratch so nothing's been fitted to this bike. The only thing that we've put on so far is the Ram 16 swing arm which has been fitted uh, to a Hobie H-Rail accessory here. Okay, so you'll see here we've got eight holes in the mounting system for the Helix and on our ram mount we've got about 12 holes that are lined up. So the key here guys is just to find that placement and we'll see here that they're actually on these two outside holes. We'll grab our little nuts and bolts, 316 stainless steel and nylon. That'll stop any vibration loosening these. Now what we want is we want these angles, this open piece of the bracket facing backwards. That allows more movement for the head of the unit. So we'll just put these guys on here. Okay, so we've now fitted the unit to the ram mount and we've done that with the 316 uh, bolts and the nylock nuts as well. So basically, now that we're ready to put the head unit on, you just wanna make sure one more time that you've located these openings to the back of the head unit. What we'll do now, we've got our Helix 9 head unit here. I turn it back to myself just so it's easier to see. We drop that in, make sure it's nice and in place, rotate it round. And we just do these dials up at the side just to make sure that, that unit's not going to fall out while we're working on the rest of the kayak. Okay, now that we've finished fitting the head unit, the next part we're going to do is start running some of our cables. So this here is our transducer, and in the Hobie Pro Angle 14s, there's a recessed transducer mount at the fourth base of the kayak. So what we've got to do is get down a little bit low, put our hand under, find that hole, and you'll see come straight up the hole, just under the seat there. We're just gonna pull a little bit of wire through, just enough to work with. And then what we'll do, is we'll get, this is our through hull waterproof uh, cover. What we wanna do is make sure that when we feed our cable down through this hole, that our waterproof cover's on there. All right, now comes the tricky bit. We've gotta put the threaded spigot over the end of your cable, so the cable runs through the middle of it, and then we've got to also do it up to that waterproof piece there. So you've got to put your arm up and in through the rear hatch here, and it's all just about feel. Okay, so now we've finished doing up the threaded spigot. We've made sure that this waterproof piece has the opening to the rear, so no water can get in easily. We've threaded it through the hull just to the back hatch here. The reason we do that is it's a little bit easier to access the hull from the rear than trying to feed it straight through to the front. Now what we've got to do is make sure this end ends up at the front of the kayak. So basically what we do is we put it down the right side of the hull and we just slowly feed it in, making sure that cable stays nice and straight. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put my arm in through here, grab that cable we've threaded and pull it out the center hatch. Okay, now that we've threaded it through to the center hatch, we've just got to bring it through to this hole over here on the sounder side of the kayak. So I'm just gonna put my arm inside that center hatch Feel my way up, grab it with my finger like that, and just pull that cable through. Okay, now that we've run the, our transducer cable through, it's now time to put the power through. On the Humminbirds, they come with a fitted inline fuse. So what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna grab the open ends, open ends and we're gonna thread it straight down through this hole here. Power's up good. So guys, if you have any questions or queries about fitting a Humminbird sounder to a kayak, please feel free to bring it down. We'll give you a free quote and all installations can be done in store. 
Uh, so hopefully we can see you guys down here shortly to get some of these beautiful hummingbird units onto your kayaks.